Hello everybody, I am KiwiPlays and welcome to my channel. No matter if you are a returning subscriber or a new viewer that just happened to stumble across my channel, thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful episode. So without further ado, let's um, do some gameplay for now. Okay, so as you can see, um, we're looking at the beautiful habitat that we built in the last episode. Um, for the Tasmanian Devil. Now, if you look over here, you can see that I built offline the habitat for the little quokkas. I was actually planning on making this habitat for one of the, um, for, like, an episode for, that was going to go into the, the video, but... I honestly just really didn't like how this habitat turned out. I had a whole video planned, I had everything recorded, and then I decided that I just really don't like how this turned out, and I don't feel that I want to put this on a thumbnail, so that's honestly the only reason why I decided not to, um, not to include the time lapse of me building this. If you would like, I could make a little um, maybe a couple minutes short, uh, maybe a YouTube short that is like one minute or maybe a five minute TikTok just explaining what I did just so you can see overall. But just overall, I just really honestly hate how this habitat looks. I don't hate it, but I just really don't like how it looks. Honestly, I think I could have done a lot of a better, like a lot better of a job. Um, but honestly, I don't feel like fixing it. You can also see that I have more or less finished decorating the interior. All that is missing is just a couple extra plants and, um, all of the signs that I made. I need to add them in. I just need to do that once I feel like doing that. And I added a little terrarium area, not terrarium, um, what's it called? Exhibit area just for like the guests to to look into i don't really know um so yeah there are these two exhibits that i think look great in here and they do kind of add to how this build looks um but just overall i'm really happy with how this whole like australian house turned out except for this area but there's nothing we can do about it i seriously don't know what to do um since if you look at the zoopedia and you go into oceania we've added all of the animals that i already wanted to add into this oceania uh, into this oceania house and the only animal that was really left a smaller animal that i thought would go well was the quokka so um yeah so i added the, the little quokkas in here so there are quokkas in the um build in this habitat in this zoo but there isn't an entire episode that is for them so let's see what else we can do in this episode um let's walk around the zoo a little bit oh and i wanted to address something else i wanted to address the fact that um i the zoo is in sandbox i just wanted to make sure just in case you guys noticed i turned the zoo into sandbox because when it was in franchise, it was just having lots and lots of problems. Just, I don't know, it was always um, lagging and just throwing me out of the zoo. And when it threw me out of the zoo, it said franchise problem or franchise error. I, I'm not really sure. Um, but, but so, so that was the reason why I decided to turn it into a sandbox zoo. So it just wouldn't be so, like so i couldn't in the last episode i honestly got um kicked out of the zoo i forgot the word but i got kicked out of the zoo hopefully you understand what i'm saying like maybe 25 times during that recording session of two hours so it was just getting really unbearable and i couldn't even record an intro without getting like um i forgot the word kicked out in the middle i guess that's the best word to describe it. But um, in this episode, we are going to be building or a koala habitat over here 
or a little kangaroo and rednicked wallaby habitat over here somewhere. And along with that, I'm also going to go back into the zoo and just make some changes, make it look a lot nicer, clean some stuff up, especially in here, as you can see, we've got a lot back here to clean up, to make, to just make it look a lot nicer. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this episode. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to jump straight into the time lapse of me building this. Oh, and I am also going to be building a little bit of a sign here just to make it look good and just to make it look nice. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the time lapse. Hello everybody, Future Kiwi here. I wanted before I start telling you um, what I was doing in the habitat, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of my thought process for the next coming episodes and for the following couple of weeks. So, um, I don't know my plans for the following weeks, but I know for the next couple of episodes. Um, I know I have one video plan that is a little bit of a Christmas special. Um, even though I myself don't celebrate Christmas, I still feel like it's important and <laughs> it is just nice to, to keep the Christmas spirit going and just to make a little bit of a Christmas special episode. So I've already filmed and built that habitat um, when I was bored, I just came up with the idea. So I already have that episode ready. I still haven't edited it, but it's not going to be too long to edit that. I do know that in the next episode, I'm probably going to be building for, um, I think Willow Creek City Zoo again. And then I'm going to build for Aloe Dunes. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to come back to Safari Wildlife Park. But I don't know what I'm going to build for. I'm in a little bit of not a like build creative block. I'm in a little bit of just a block. I feel like this zoo is just really blocking me and just really... I, I, I really, I don't even know how to explain it. Like I feel like when whatever I build in this zoo... For the last couple of episodes, if, ever since the Tasmanian Devil episode, I feel like everything that I build in this zoo doesn't really look good. Until now it really did look good. But this episode, I feel like I could have built something better, and but I was just like a little bit stressing myself to get a video out. And so that's why this video isn't the best that it possibly could be. But I definitely feel like I'm going to be working on that in the next coming episode. And I'm definitely going to work on like stuff that I want to build and stuff that I really feel interested in. So, um, so yeah, that's definitely what I'm going to be focusing on the, in the next coming weeks. Um, so that's why I'm going to build in Willow Creek City Zoo because I feel like I really do love the, the episodes in Willow Creek City Zoo and I feel like... I just love that series overall. So that's really what I'm going to be planning on sticking on doing in the in the following episodes. Um, and I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from this zoo because it's just a little bit of a hectic zoo and just it's a little bit too much for, for me right now. So I definitely will be coming back to this zoo. Don't worry, the zoo isn't going anywhere, but I'm just taking a little break, a little break from it. So, um... Yeah, let me explain what I'm doing. I started by terraforming the area and the fence that you see is the fence that I used in the last episode of um, Willow Creek City Zoo is the episode for the, um, um, what's it called? For the wild boars from the new Eurasia DLC. I built this really nice fence that I felt like I wanted to copy and also use over here. So I just recolored it and made it a bit more of a savanna color, just a color that really matches this zoo. Um, so, so yeah, that's the fence that I used. Now I'm adding lots and lots of rocks because obviously you cannot have a habitat that does not have any rocks. I also used the Caesar Creates rocks also as a little bit of a barrier at the back right there. Um, I was thinking of also using it not at the back, also in the, in the front. 
but then I don't know <laughs> I don't know what happened to that that was a thought that I have and I guess I just didn't do it um, as you can see now I am adding lots and lots of plants um, because I really do love adding lots of plants and I feel like that's my specialty and in this episode I feel like I added the perfect amount of plants in the perfect amount and I left the perfect amount of like empty enclosure to have a very deserty habitat even though if you will look in the kangaroos um, bars or whatever you call it <laughs> in their like wel welfare place you will see that they have too much plants in their habitat but I don't really listen to their needs about plants I feel like in a real zoo they wouldn't really like I don't think they would care if there was a little bit too much grasses or just an extra tree here or there I really don't think that they will they would mind the reason I made this habitat walk through is because there is a zoo in Israel where I'm from that has a walkthrough habitat just very similar to this one um, so I decided to build something similar something that looks really close with lots of rocks and just a walkthrough habitat the real reason why I didn't put a railing around the walking area the paths is because I just thought it looked really ugly and it didn't look good so I just didn't do it I I don't really build for the realism I know in real life it isn't the most realistic to not put a railing because the guests can just run wherever they want but for me I just didn't feel like it so I didn't especially because I was a little bit rushing myself on doing this not rushing but I was just telling myself come on I have to finish this I need to do this quickly and I was already just like pressuring myself I told myself that this one thing that isn't really realistic I can leave I can leave I can let myself slide on this one it's okay um and yeah even though I really do like having a like a strict plan and a strict time that I want to post and all of that it, I am a little bit flexible so if I don't post here and there um, that's really the reason why and I don't know why this was important to say I just felt like it was um, but that is more or less the end of this time lapse I'm gonna jump straight back to the real time in just a moment right after I finish adding all of these trees so um, I hope you enjoyed this really really short little um, voiceover thank you so much for watching my voiceover see you in the real time bye guys okay everybody so I am back from building the time lapse and as you can see we finished building this habitat I feel it looks very 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 good over here I still have to like work on it a little bit not on the habitat but just fixing stuff up like I think I'm gonna add like just making this stuff all around the habitat look better I think I'm gonna add plaster all around here so it's gonna look like this um, I still need to fix the sign and work a little bit on this area but for the meantime I just really really do like how the habitat turned out I feel like it's a very different one than, than the one that we usually build in oops an animal is boxed oh no that's not good a virus let's oh no so let's search bit research Oh, we okay we can can't we research research complete okay um oops well yeah as you can see I've more or less finished this build and I'm just really happy with it I wanted to add a little emu over here but the guests were just really afraid of the emu and whenever there was an emu the guests would just run out but at the same time, I don't really like how it looks with all of these guests inside. Um, so, yeah, I, I really don't know what to do. I might limit the guest numbers to make it a lot like smaller. 
so that there won't be so many guests over here so that there just won't be so many guests at the zoo in general um because i feel like it's a little bit affecting the lag it isn't like really affecting it but it still doesn't look uh, as best as it could so i feel like i'm going to do that but other than that i just really do like how this habitat turned out it was a very different one to what i've been doing in the past couple of episodes like i've been building a lot inside of this area inside of this um australian house and i've been building a lot indoors and i've been building for the eurasia animal pack and for the alpine ibex and for some bears so it was just a really fun episode and it was just really fun to build for something a little bit different so let's call the mechanic because i see that the glass is breaking and let's make sure every month every month um yeah okay so let's see what else we can do around the zoo i still need to go around the zoo and just fix up some stuff i think i'm gonna do that in a live stream but i'm not too sure um because if i won't do it in a live i just won't really have the motivation to really do it um let's see okay try there's nothing we can do about that um this oh inaccessible let's maybe move it i don't know it wasn't really a problem until now okay i don't know um these little tasmanian devils are just a real pain in the butt um <laughs> but i mean i still do love how everything is looking until now as i said i did build this habitat for the quokka in the in not in any episode i built it offline um but um i still might go back and fix some stuff i, I really don't know i just need to have the courage and have the patience and have the time to do that because this zoo is just i really do love this zoo but i feel like i need to take a break from this oceania section so maybe this is probably going to be the last episode for the oceania section in a couple of episodes um but yeah i feel like that's totally okay i feel like that's the end of today's episode this wasn't a really long one it was like one that is a little bit in the middle but don't forget if you did enjoy this episode please do consider going down below and hitting that like and subscribe button and if you're already down there please do write me a nice comment as it always helps me and it always does make me feel really good whenever i read your comments so um yeah thank you all so much for watching this episode i hope to catch you in the next one bye guys